Chad and I have been hungry for German chocolate cake ever since my sister-in-law Merlin was talking to us about how she had made a German chocolate cake last week. And of course, she didn't have any left. What the heck? Well, that's okay because today we're going to make a German chocolate cake and eat the whole thing. This recipe and many others are available in an ebook at griffithscookbook.com. We are going to start by preheating the oven at 350 degrees. Do you still grease and flour your pans the old fashioned way? or do you use a can of spray when you do it? I think when I make this cake, I like to do it the old fashioned way because it's my mom's cake. I think that this is so satisfying. The recipe calls for one half cup of butter, very soft, a scant cup of sugar, two eggs, two tablespoons vanilla, two cups flour, one heaping teaspoon baking powder, one teaspoon baking soda, a half a teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons unsweetened cocoa powder, and one cup of milk. I want to cream my sugar and butter together before I add my eggs. And I just do that with the back of my spoon. I'm going to continue adding the rest of my ingredients. Two tablespoons of pure vanilla. And again, I'm just mixing this in with a spoon. I could use my egg beaters, but I like to make this cake just the way my mom made it. Now I'm going to add two cups of flour. Two teaspoons of baking powder. One teaspoon of baking soda. A teaspoon of salt. and three tablespoons of Hershey unsweetened cocoa. And then I'm going to mix that just a little bit before I add the milk. And we're putting in one cup of milk. I do that every time. What happens is I'm watching the, the uh, back of the camera instead of watching what I'm doing. And then I end up pouring milk all over the cabinet. So just mix this together with a spoon the best that you can. Now you can break out the hand mixer and mix this for three minutes on medium speed. I need a little grandkid here, or two. The next step is still a little bit controversial in our family, and I'm going to skip it today. But I'm going to ask you if you've ever heard of this. My brother thinks that my mom used to put her batter through this before she put it into the cake pan. She'd just take the batter, fill it, put, put it in here, it was kind of messy, and she would put it in her cake pan. This cake is not going to be like a store-bought cake or like a box cake. 
This is an old fashioned cake and it's going to be heavier, but I think it is so good. It's like a real good cake. Leave me a comment down below if you've ever heard of this in your recipes of sifting the batter, not the flour, but the batter. Now I'm going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. I want to show you a few pictures of my mother. That is my mother and my grandma Mortensen. Here's another picture of my mom and my grandma. That's my sister Sonia. Right there, those are my sisters. My mom and grandma. Let's see. Look at this one. Look at this one. Isn't she cute? She had the most beautiful yard you would ever see. She loved flowers. Oh, I miss them so much. Isn't she pretty? It makes me cry. My mom never owned a rubber spatula. She had her wooden spoons. She had um, this kind of pancake turner and she called this a spatula and she would <laughs> she would say do i need to get the spatula out and that was like do i need to spank you or um, i'm gonna get me a wooden spoon and that was code for you're gonna get a spanking with you know you're gonna get a spanking soon so um she was nice but she was strict something else my mom never owned she never ever owned a set of measuring spoons like this she would just pull out a spoon from her drawer and she, if the recipe called for a half a teaspoon or whatever it is she just knew what it was and she she just used one spoon and that was the spoons that we ate with she never had measuring spoons she never had measuring cups she never had a, a set of cups again she would just take out a, a cup from the cupboard and if it called for a third or a full or whatever it was that's how she measured I just told you that my mom was strict she really wasn't strict but she did expect a lot out of her kids okay here's the fun part we're gonna make the frosting for the German chocolate cake we're gonna make the German chocolate frosting this recipe in the cookbook so far and the cookbook's been out a couple years now so far the only mistake I made in the cookbook was in putting this recipe in. Okay. The, it calls for evaporated milk, and this is evaporated milk. And I, um, growing up, it was called morning milk. There was a brand, and it was called morning milk. And so that's the way it was referred to all the time in the recipe or whatever. It was morning milk. And when I was putting the recipe together for this, German chocolate frosting I just got all confused with the different brands and I picked up a can and I thought okay okay I've got this right I'm gonna put the right thing in the recipe and I ended up putting in sweetened condensed and so thousands of people in their recipe books it will say condensed milk but in my recipe book and in anybody that I've been able to correct. It is actually two cups of evaporated milk. So here's how you make the frosting. And I need to fill my bucket up with sugar. This frosting takes two cups of sugar. It calls for two cups of evaporated milk, not sweet and condensed, evaporated. And I have figured that this is pretty close to two cups. It's 12 ounces. And I am just going to pour it in here and show you. Okay, so it's this much shy of two cups. And I'm not going to open up another can for that. So I'll either make it with what I've got or I'll just add a little bit of milk to it. 
I think my cake is done. The toothpick come out clean and it's been 25 minutes. Okay guys, I don't know why I just didn't start it in this pan to begin with. I never should have put it in this. It goes in a pan because we're gonna cook this. So I didn't need to put it in this bowl. I am not starting over. Just because I goofed right here. We'll just do this. Add a half a cup of butter. A pinch of salt. A teaspoon of vanilla. and four egg yolks. Once this starts to boil like that, like it's doing right now, I turn it down and let it cook for 12 minutes, but just not at a heavy boil, just at a little boil. This has been cooking like that for 12 minutes. I had to put the lid on it because it started getting my stove dirty, but I'm going to turn that off now. And I'm just going to let that cool and then I'll come back to it and we'll add the coconut and nuts. My cake has had a chance to cool. The frosting is cooled and I just need to add the coconut and the nuts and if you don't want to add nuts, just leave them out. I love the nuts. These are pecans. So it takes a cup of coconut and a cup of pecans. If I had been making a birthday cake, I would have put it in two round pans instead of the rectangle cake pan. But I just think that it's a lot easier and to make it in this cake. And let me show you something. It fell right here, just a little bit, and that's okay. I'm going to tell you a secret. The best cooks, the best bakers have cakes that are not perfect. And do you know how they fix them? They cover them with frosting. Chad is off running some errands and the cake will sit here and set up just a little bit more. And when he gets back, we'll have a treat. Well, <laughs> We have spent a lot of time on the front patio. We haven't been out back much this year. No, no. The, uh, the sun's out there right now. It's a little warm, so this is as good a place as any, and I'm glad to be the beneficiary of your goodwill and good skills and your wonderful recipe, and this is one of my favorites. I know it's, I think, Bo's favorite uh, cake. Yeah, we always made this cake for Bo on his birthday. Yeah, my mom made this a lot too when I was growing up. We really want to thank you for watching and give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this. Let me know if you made this and if you liked it and subscribe. Yeah. Thanks again for your support. Bye-bye. Okay, Merlene, I'm coming your way.